The image that you've just seen there on the screen is the earliest angling related photograph that I have. It was taken in real in the late 1960s, possibly just into the early 70s, I don't know for sure, but the two children with me, my cousins Andrew and Tracy, we went away on holiday as a family and it was below the bridge, just a few yards the other side, that I caught my first ever sea fish, a small flounder. Back then, in the 1960s, before the advent of European travel, as a family, we used to jump on the train in Wolverhampton and then crew Chester. I can't remember exactly where the change was, but we ended up at Rill in North Wales. It was a very different town then to what it is now. There were lots of holidaymakers, especially from the Black Country area. And my parents used to go into a pub called The Schooner, which has long since been demolished right by the road bridge and it was before the development of the harbour as it is now and you could walk from the schooner across the road drop down into the estuary at low tide and fish that's exactly what I did and my parents when it was time to come home back to the place that we were staying they would walk across the road collect me and we would go and I remember as a child, lots of holiday makers fishing the estuary one by one, they would disappear as the evening wore on. And I would always be there, the last one. I'm still the same now. The last cast syndrome is very much real in my life, even today. And I would lie there on the ground sometimes, looking at the rod top against the street lights to try and detect a bite, or I would touch ledger. Those were different days of course. You could let your child go across the road and then fishing the estuary at low water. Perhaps nowadays you wouldn't want to let them out of your sight. But great memories and I think memories, whether they're fishing related ones or otherwise, are wonderful because we look back as we get older. I'm approaching 56, 57 shall I say, at my next birthday and we don't appreciate how things that happen at that moment in time as the years go by will become very special memories indeed. I never realised when I stood there with my cousins that one day that image that my dad took on his camera would become my angling related photograph that would go back further in time than anything else. It's important Make good memories. Let today's experiences be good ones because as the years go by, our memories also will be pleasant.